Okay, so it's our second day on the Mara. We are so excited to be here. Our goals today, of course, we're gonna try to find the lion, hopefully the leopard, and possibly the rhino. But what's so amazing, take a look right behind you right there. That's actually the Mara River, and that's where the famous wildebeest crossing happens every time anywhere between August through September, even October sometimes. I don't even need binoculars because I'm so close. We found a lion, part of the big five. I'm excited, my first wild lion. Looks like a lioness, looks like two lioness. The one kind of looks a little bit smaller, but it's just, I mean, literally you can just see the awe on my face. Incredible, they're right here around these bushes. It's a wonderful place to find lions, and it's actually good we found them because the grass is just so incredibly long now. So I just found out these two lions, the lioness, they're actually part of the Ridge Pride, made famous by BBC's Big Cat Diary. Oh my gosh, look through the ridge right here. See, I'm just so starstruck. <laughs> as a lookout. Topi are a very kind of kind of medium-sized antelope here. They're found everywhere here in the Mara and you'd think that they'd be so numerous around Africa, although unfortunately you can only find them in just small parks and reserves here. Um, the poachers really have decimated their population. Oh my gosh, I'm literally speechless for the first time in my life. I saw one of the animals I came to Africa to see, the spotted hyena. Unusually though, it's not with its clan, but we've actually learned that they'll actually go out on their own just to kind of mark their territories, make sure there's no intruders, but they actually have relatively small territories, so you can find several clans right here in the Maasai Mara. One of the number one predators actually has the most powerful bite in Africa, can go right through elephant bone. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I don't think I've ever been speechless. <laughs> Okay, so right over there, we have two female ostrich. You can tell because of their plumage. They're very, uh, you know, gray, kind of dull. The males are black, very, very brilliant, and have beautiful white tail feathers. Really neat, take a look how alert they are. Alert for predators, lions. We also have hyena around here, as well as a cheetah. This is so cool, the largest living bird in the world. Okay, so we just spotted a black rhinoceros. This is phenomenal in the Mara because they don't have very many. Only 25 to 30 black rhinoceros here in the Mara. And the Mara's about the size of Rhode Island. So you can imagine, they are, you know, extremely kind of hard to find. Excitement, we're gonna go see it right now. Oh my God, you see it? And it's definitely not a rock this time. Whew. Okay, so it is confirmed. It is a black rhinoceros. These are solitary animals. It kind of freaked us out a little bit because it kind of got in that defensive posture. They have been known to ram vehicles. Um, what a way to go. Uh, great animal, and like I said, it's so incredibly rare. It's so unfortunate. This is an extremely threatened species near extinction. Matter of fact, the Maasai statistically say that they lose a rhino a day, unfortunately, right here in Africa.